Let me tell you, it smells so good <laughs> in the studio right now. We are just a couple of weeks away from major holidays. And joining me right now is Chef oh, Pedro Garcia God, from El this. Maison. Severa, you're going to love this. Oh, my goodness. Tell me about this prime rib. You know this, I am a meat girl. Yeah, well, first of all, we put this in the oven for 250 degrees. Anybody can oh, do this. You get goodness. this piece is about seven pounds. And what we're going to do right now is I'm going to cut along the bones here to remove it from the rack. Oh. But this is basically your ribeye. And uh, you put it at 250 degrees for three and a half hours. That brings it to like 125 degrees rare. Oh my God. A little longer, you get medium rare. Right. Then you let it out for an hour, let it rest on the, on the surface of the counter. And then you put it back in the oven at 500 degrees for 10 minutes. Okay, just 10 minutes. Yeah, and, and, and it'll sizzle, it'll sizzle. Ooh, look at this. Look at that cut. See, look at this. And wow. now this is, the rib. Now, some people really like the ribs. Yeah. They can have the ribs. That's the bones. But some people don't like the bones. A lot of people like the ribs. So we take it like this. Let's let's uh, let's see what it looks like here. Ooh, this is a big reveal, everyone. Yeah. We... Oh, Chef Pedro, you've done see? it again. That's a look. Look how easy it is to good. cut. Look how okay. easy it is to You're cut. You're holding it for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding it for okay, you. Go let's for see. it. Let's see. I'm... It is tender, Whoa, tender. She's doing it, y'all. She's tender. And you can cut this as thin or as thick as you like. Now, if I'm doing this, this is oh, this is some tender stuff. And that's a serving right there. Yeah. That's nice. And with this, you can make some really fun sauces. For okay. example, yeah, right away, yeah, I, I took some red wine, okay. port wine. I'm sweet. drinking the red wine. We're not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring it here today because I drank it this morning. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you reduce down this port wine, yeah. and you roast some bell peppers, and you puree it, and you put it in there too with some black pepper, and you, then you, I put it. Then I get it reduced down. Then I put in some orange marmalade. You got to get the bitter orange marmalade. Yes. The British style. Okay. Not the sweet, but it's a bitter orange marmalade, and you put a little bit of cream in there, and you mix it up with some rosemary, and it tastes beautiful. Oh, it is oh, spectacular. Nice. And this is the sauce you get oh, right there. Wow. And it's a great sauce to go with this beef. It smells like it pairs well. What's this one right here? This one oh. is fun. This one, I just get a little bit of cream cheese okay. with some heavy cream, 50-50, okay. and I reduce it down. I was oh, simmering under a low heat in a skillet, make it nice and, and, and this kind of consistency. Yeah, it's you a see? little thicker. That it's one. a little thicker. And then, but I put in a half a, a, a bit of wasabi, mm. some white Spice pepper, and up. cayenne. Ooh. And, and, you know, and a little bit of soy sauce. And I then, know you like flavor. So, yeah, so this has a little bit of that, that Japanese. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the wasabi you get in the store is really horseradish, you know? Yeah. Unless you get the real good stuff. But you can use horseradish in this. Talk about some of your side pairings here. Well, of course, Brussels sprouts are a must. That's a great for holiday. I love it. Yeah, you roast it up. You can use a little bit of honey on them. You can put nuts in there, raisins, something sweet to, to turn it around. Bacon is a big plus because it has a savory element. Yes. So sweet and savory go hand in hand. Sweet and savory. That's yeah. the message. Thank you. And yeah. this delicious meat. Wow. Thank mm -hmm. you for blessing us with this today. Thank you for everything. It looks delicious. I can't we'll wait be, to eat it. Yes. We'll <laughs> be right back after the break. I'm chowing down.